Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Jewelry Making Fun 2023, which is a collaboration hosted by Dahlia Designs Jewelry and More, also known as Deb Hauk. And this month is really a challenge. Apparently, last month, I kind of missed the mark. I didn't realize that the color options were and. Um, usually, or last year, they had been or. But, uh, yeah, she put a big capital letter A and D in the middle. So the colors for uh, <laughs> this month of February are, I'll put the entire little challenge thing here. Um, but yes, so purple, blue, and gold, <laughs> and gold. Um, the optional challenges are to use mixed metals and to either make a flower or use flower beads. So I am not so doing any of the options. I am keeping it super simple because honestly, I spent so much time just looking through my stash for the beads that I just need to, you know, get going. So um, I had no trouble finding blue beads. I mean, these are gorgeous. Uh, but check this out. This is just one of my bins of blue beads. Um, I also have blue beads scattered throughout other bins with, in other categories like gemstones and things like that. And uh, so I had no problem finding blue beads. It's my favorite color. And I also like purple, but when I went looking for purple, I just didn't seem to find hardly any um, I found this couple of beads, which are uh, really nice. They're stone beads. And, um, you know, these also, which are, I think, a blue of entry technically, but they are purple. And then these are light. I guess they're mostly lavender, but I'm going to see if maybe I can use those. And then a random uh, chip stone necklace. I believe these are glass. But um, yeah, so I don't know what, which one of those I will use or these. I also do have some Swarovski crystals and there are purple ones in there and blue ones. And I also have blue ones in this here. And those are all Swarovski crystals. I'm so excited. Now, um, as I'm working on this, um, I'm going to also tell you. Uh, oh, and the other thing is that I don't usually use gold. So I found this little bag of these um, <laughs> these bead chain, uh, things. I mean, they're, I don't know what they're called, almost like a keychain thing. And I thought, well, they're gold. Maybe this is my opportunity to do something with them. And then when I found this, I'm like, oh, look, there's those little gold balls in between the little spacers that look very similar. So I might just do a pendant or a couple pendants for this. That might be one of the things. I always make earrings because it's my favorite thing to do. Um, and thankfully, I did have some gold findings. They're kind of scattered through this box. Not too much because, like I said, I don't use it a lot. And as you can see, some of them have tarnished in there just from lack of use. But it looks like I, there's, I still have some good findings that I can use. So, um, yeah, if you are just drooling over my beads, let me tell you, I have acquired so many beads over the last few months and most of them I have gotten amazing deals on Whatnot, which if you're not familiar with Whatnot, it is an app that um, does live auctions. And um, a lot of these uh, sellers on there, including myself, because I do also sell on there, a lot of times I will buy uh, bulk from another seller, keep a few things for myself, and then resell the rest of it and um, get my money back and maybe even make a little bit of money. So I, I really love that. But uh, I'm going to leave a coupon code in the description box below uh, this video uh, where you can get $10 off your first purchase. You basically would uh, just pay for the shipping on those $10 and uh, it's, you get some amazing deals. I will warn you, it is very addicting. So if you have an addictive personality like myself, <laughs> you might not want to, you might not even want to check it out. Okay. So fair warning. Um, so yeah, amazing deals. Actually, there was just a beat-a-thon this past Thursday where they had back-to-back -back sellers, um, you know, selling beads and oh my goodness, there were amazing deals. I can't wait to get the things I ordered from that sale, <laughs> including some Swarovskis. Oh my goodness. It was crazy. So there you go. Um, so sorry for being an enabler on that, but I'm having so much fun on there. 
um, buying and selling that uh, I, I just have to share it. So, but enough of that. Um, if you want to know more about it, and if you want to consider selling on there, definitely let me know because I can also send you a link for that. Actually, I will include that also in the description box. So I'm going to start with this easy thing. I was thinking of making just uh, maybe a pendant or two. Um, so maybe, see, this was larger than this one. So it would be a nice stacking thing. So, and I don't know if this goes well with it. Maybe I can use blue spacers. And I have, let me see, maybe some of these. So let me see what would look good. Rondells would be great. Okay, so this is a light blue. It is a crystal or glass. Let me see if that looks good under it. I guess I'm just going to have to grab my head pin. And I don't have very long ones. Don't have a lot of charms either in the gold because, again, I, I, don't, I don't keep them. I don't use them as much. But um, I am also going to start selling my jewelry again. I hadn't done that in years. I hadn't tried to sell my jewelry since um, for years now because I really did, never did very well like in the craft shows. There's always so much competition. Or maybe I was just picking the wrong craft shows. But um, I just, you know, had not. I've just been beating just for myself for fun. And... Um, this collaboration and of course not getting hooked on whatnot is kind of helping me to try to want to get back into beating. So uh, let's see. Do we have another? I do have some more, but I don't know if it's smaller than that. What do you think of that? That is not too bad, but I think I would prefer a darker blue in there. Let's see. Ooh, there's these little cubes. Now these are just crystals. They're not Swarovski or anything. But let's see. So I guess I'm going to play around a little bit with uh, my placement of the beads and things like that. And then come back and show you what I came up with. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this color combination. Thank you so much, Deb, because I would totally have never um, put these colors together. But I love what I came up with. I kind of went crazy. I've been like <clears throat> beating for like an hour <laughs> and I came up with this, which I'm like super excited. I got this much done in that time. So originally this was the pendant that I made. I decided to use this little light blue bead that was kind of a little flat because um, it does have like that gold banding through it. And I think that came out okay. I really do love these beads down here. Um, but tell me, what you think, honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Does the beautiful or do the beautiful beads elevate this ball chain <laughs> or does the ball chain kind of, uh, I don't know, decrease the value or look of the pretty pendant? Let me know what you think. Honestly, um, I won't be hurt. <laughs> And then after that, I went ahead and made earrings because I thought, you know, that's what my default is. I usually love to make earrings. So I made these first. And these are Swarovski crystals. The bottom one is a purple and the top one is a blue. On my hand, you can't see it as well as on the white background here. So maybe I'll set it back here and just move in closer. And then these are the blue electric plate beads love that color almost like a cobalt and then the little light lavender there on the top run those rondelles are swarovskis um i really wish that i had better quality findings i'm not sure what the ear wires are i don't think they're gold plated they're certainly not gold but it's all i had so you know there they are um, I just don't remember. They may be gold plated, but I don't know. However, these little tiny beads in between are gold plated. I found those in my stash. But let me just show you the next thing that I made was this bracelet. I just did not want to leave these beads orphan. <laughs> so I used the darker one as a focal point in this little uh, kind of like chain beaded uh, bracelet right here. And as you can see, the little the little two millimeter gold uh, plated beads are in between. 
And then, you know, whenever you have something heavy like that on a bracelet, if you don't even the weight out, it's going to like keep flopping to the bottom. So I added the other big bead with one of these little blue cat's eye beads as a counterweight and it actually sits really nicely. I wore it as I threaded this elastic bracelet and I love it. I love I wanted to use up the other little purple beads that I had pulled out. You know, I don't want to waste it since I, I had pulled them out. And uh, so I went ahead and threaded those. And then this one lamp work bead, which is kind of, again, like a dark cobalt blue, uh, has those gold. The gold is a little bit more rose gold, but then maybe that'll count for my uh, <laughs> mixed metals. I don't know. And then it's got a little bit of lavender in inside on the bead. Oh, my goodness. It's not focusing. I'm so sorry. There we go. Is that better? So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Those are my projects for this month's challenge. I totally love this. This is why I'm so happy that I participate in this challenge because it kind of pushes me out of my comfort zone a little bit, especially now that Deb has, um, you know, made the and <laughs> and uh, uh, a must in the design. So anyway... Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which was your favorite item. And please to tell me your opinion on this um, pendant one right here. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And definitely watch all of the participants who will be linked in my description below. And um, if you actually, if you are interested in whatnot, I will include that as a pinned comment so that it doesn't detract from the long list of participants. Enough of my yapping. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.